So I came out here to look at this garden. I'm still bringing compost and other organic materials and cardboards and things and filling in on several of these. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six to fill in, get me some good dirt and all that good stuff and get them prepared for this coming spring. I know I've been lazy on, on this garden and uh, but I do have stuff growing in some of these others. Nothing like I wanted. I wanted it to be so much more than what it is. Um, but I, you know, just so much gets in the way. Out there, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right, right there in the middle of the screen, you see the tall, it's green where everything else seems to be brown. It's kind of a, uh, a uh, uh, let me see if I can zoom in. You see that? That's a brassica out in the field. I've got several of those. Oh, oh, let me zoom out and then I'll go that way. You can see some more out there. See the, see those brassicas out there? The darker green things sticking up. I think that's some kind of cow. But those things are almost as tall as me. So I need to wander out there and kind of cultivate all that and kind of make it a better environment and a better garden. Those things are growing really well in that environment. Without my assistance, they're, they're all volunteers, I believe. Uh, we did have a bag of seeds that we had put out there uh, that was to create a field of plants that the deer love. <clears throat> so the deer would have a lot of stuff out there to eat. Um, but anyway, back to where I was here. Okay. These plants, or these, <laughs> these in here are, uh, are the things that we put in our little raised beds. They didn't do as good this year as I wanted. It's because it was a new raised bed garden. A lot of the materials that we put in had not um, really turned to good dirt quite yet. But as time goes on, the plants are getting more healthy and growing. Um, I did just notice something. Let me go back over here. We have a, a couple of carpenter bees sitting. They're just sitting real still. They get on these plants because these plants got, these are basil plants. They're flowering, been flowering over time. The, the, uh, the carpenter bees get on here just like a honeybee would. And, you know, they collect the pollen and stuff. But these guys have decided to just sit and wait it out, I guess. I think maybe it's cooled off. Maybe they don't have a spot to go to right now. I don't know. Just not quite sure what what they're doing. I'd say it's probably because it's just cool out. There's probably more of them out and about through here and I just haven't noticed them. But these basil plants have definitely gone to seed. We're going to have tons and tons of new basil plants this coming spring. Got a bunch of them over there in that one as well. <clears throat> Got a few tomatoes. Some of them have rotted on the vine and some are looking like they need picked and taken inside. But one thing... I noticed just a little bit ago um, these sweet potato vines are spreading they're coming out 
in here they're already wrapped around this piece of grass so I'm gonna kind of put it back in here so it stays in here I don't really want them to spread out here quite yet maybe maybe sometime later and this this is where the cucumber plants uh, coming through I might actually have some oh, cucumbers in there sometimes it's hard to see things but look at that right there look at pretty eggplant pretty pretty eggplant there's another one back there see it that pretty eggplant eggplant fruit I think those are almost ready and uh, look at that it's a type of Swiss chard over there that's pretty isn't it and these I think that's a type of Swiss chard as well it's just not as pretty as that that's a pretty Swiss chard plant of course this one is basil with a bunch of seeds um, but look at that doesn't that look healthy and pretty and strong really nice um, oh, mosquitoes mosquitoes won't leave my ears alone I hate that they get all around my ears and just I can hear them buzz and sometimes I can feel them but this is also a Swiss chard plant here. And this thing is loving the cooler weather. Just loving it. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got these big, beautiful leaves on it. Really pretty color. One thing I'd like to do, I'd, I'd love to grow just tons and tons of really good vegetables. And, and different things like this. I love to grow rhubarb. Um, I've never been able to grow rhubarb very well, but I, I think, I think I'm going to try to get some started inside early in the spring and uh, see if I can get them out here and get them growing. And, uh, you know, if we can get rhubarb to grow, then then we're going to make rhubarb pie, rhubarb wine, rhubarb, anything we can make rhubarb. <laughs> I, I just feel like I want to do that. Um, and I have let the grass get away from me. Definitely, definitely let the grass get away from me. Look at these jalapenos. Some of them are green, and some of them are red. At least these pepper plants are just full of jalapenos. The basil plants are just doing everything they can. And uh, look at these things, aren't they pretty? Red and green jalapenos. All in there. <clears throat> These are turnips, turnip greens with turnips. You can tell how these tops have just taken off. And it's a thick, dark leaf, and they're, they're building turnips underneath. Like that. Some of these plants don't look good, but you know, it's okay. Some of them do. But down here, there's a Big turnip up right here. Look down there. This one's definitely putting the tops up. And these kelp plants are starting to look more healthy. They're starting to put more tops up. And these things are just, they feel wonderful. And they, they taste great. And I've come out here at times and just picked leaves off of these things and just eat them right here. And of course, pick the old leaves off, just drop them. Uh, but look at that, ain't that pretty? Yeah. I need to see if I can get a bunch more of these. I don't know if I can get a bunch more growing, but I'm going to try. So, 
The deer usually come around about this time of the night. And so do the foxes. So we got foxes going after our chickens. So we need to start standing guard because we don't want that to happen again. All right, talk to you later.